here we go. What did the taco say to the enchilada? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh! <laughs> Carrie, I can think of no other person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so emotional. <laughs> you guys have pain next to you? That's bad for me. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On the blooper reel. <laughs> the wind in your head. The ocean in your Touch of your skin Oh, we met through work. We both work uh, part-time for engineering for kids and then we just have pizza together Didn't chat, but I noticed Liam We both worked at his business doing kids science camps We were assigned to the same camp where Carrie was lead instructor as she should be and I was the assistant instructor just to assist her We really hit it off uh, in, in between corralling all these rowdy uh, seven-year-olds, we really hit it off and found that we both have um, a different way of viewing things than a lot of people and we're very open-minded and into self-improvement and stuff like that. So we initially had quite interesting conversations, which I don't have with everyone. And it's how we first... It's always been Carrie was a very beautiful, energetic person when I first met her, and she still is, just to be clear. But um, that was the first impression, was that she had this radiance, this positivity about life, this big outlook, and by contrast, sometimes, I can be pretty kind of low energy and very nerdy, for lack of a better word, so she really uh, brought an energy out of me, and she still does, that I don't naturally have it seems like. Liam seems very quiet, he's very handsome. Um, he always have this uh, zoom out look, seems like he's always thinking of something really deep. The time that I realized that she was the one for me was when I was doing these difficult jobs out in Alberta. We, I was living in Saskatchewan but I was working in Alberta. I was very far away from my family. I was not doing well at my job out there doing door-to-door -door sales and I was getting very sick with some severe allergies and Carrie was the person who came out to come see me and come take care of me. Had a little bicycle accident and hurt myself and he really took care of me. Wow, you look so beautiful. You look so good It's been you. that really felt like touched that he's there for me and he's really good at taking care of me. Also important, my emotions, he really take the time to listen to me. So that's the moment. After the venture, this is the moment that I felt like I want to marry him. About 200,000 years ago, humans became the only species on earth to speak in sentences. And we have made use of this power to describe and to communicate uh, love. Choosing marriage has become one of the most potent expressions of love. Choosing to mutually bind oneself to another is a profound act. The rarity and preciousness of this act of love between Liam and Carrie that we are here to witness today. Despite its long history and vast expanse, this just may be the only sliver of time upon the only speck within our universe where such an intentional pair of choices has ever been displayed. And we are fortunate to be here today to witness it. I can think of no other person who I'd like to face life with. 
through good times and bad, you were meant for me and I was meant for you. <laughs> <laughs> You came into my life at exactly the right time. Yeah. You show me what true love is by always be there for me. I love the way we support each other and work as a team. I love that you make time for me every day, no matter how busy or tired you are. I love the way that we have grown so close and so strong together. I love you more than words can ever describe. When two people love one another, enter into marriage, it creates a bond so close, it becomes more than two bodies, two hearts, and two minds. It is the joining of two souls into one that has perfect understanding and commitment. Marriage is not just a ceremony here today, it is a commitment for life. I promise to always be true, to mend you when you are broken, to heal you when you are hurt, and to pick you up when you are down, to be honest even when the truth is difficult. I vow to love you forever and always put us in the first place, no matter we are far or near from each other. I vow to stand by your side in love's wonderful moments and difficult times. Also, for making me wait for five years, I vow to make you wait on me getting my makeup and hair ready for the rest of your life. <laughs> I promise to trust you and give over all of my heart to you. And I will in kind protect your gentle heart. None of us are long for this world, but I want to make the most of it with you. William, you're the one that I'm waiting for and you're well worth the wait. And I can't wait to make great adventures with you for the rest of our life.